Hello, my name is Fabien Giraud. So in this video, I will show you how we can manage uh, QS very easily in the Agent Management Center. For this video, I will use IMC 7.0 E0202 and also I will use the QS Manager module in IMC to manage the QRS configuration. So I will connect to my IMC server. Okay. And then I will show you what we can do with QS management. So the QS management part is in the service tab. Here you have a menu QS manager. Okay, so let's go to this module. Okay, so QS Manager. So you can see here a quick start showing you what you can do with QS Manager. So you can see the QS devices, the configuration on these devices. You can also deploy some QS configuration with business deploy, which are a quick wizard to very quickly deploy QS configuration or full deployment task in order to deploy task in a more detailed way. And finally, you can also manage the QS resources, so this means classifiers, behavior, and flow policies. So let's manage first the QS resources, and after that we will deploy these policies. First, I will define a new behavior. So I will define a simple one in order to easily see the deployment. So first I will add add I will put a name my test okay I can restrict this behavior to only some uh, model okay and after that I have different parts to configure the behavior. I can display more or less data for example, here I can also configure mirror information, redirect, accounting, and firewalling. So I will define a queue, for example, an EF, EFQ, and I want to put a bandwidth value of, I don't know, 30%. Okay, and I will also remark DSCP with number, let's select 5. And these are the main configuration for these different parts. But if you want to configure more details, for example in the CRR, you can click on config here and you will see all the options. So you can define the CIR, you can define what you want to do for green action, for example I want to pass, you can also for do the same for yellow, for yellow I want to remark IP pass, and so on. Okay, I will not configure this because I want to show you at the end that we can also configure in live this kind of uh, data. So I will do this later. So very simple, only queue and DSCP remark. Okay, I click on OK here. So now I have my new behavior, my test here. So next step is to define a new classifier. So I want to classify my, let's say, my low priority traffic. So there is a predefined one here in which you can see some specific traffic based on IP uh, TCP port. So for example, here I want to filter BT traffic, emul, idonkey, and low priority. Okay, so I will use this one and I will modify a little. For example, I will add the ping traffic. So to do this, I will copy and I will add some information. So I will put low priority traffic underscore specific FGI. Okay, and also I want to automatically associate the behavior I just created. 
So I will select my test behavior by clicking here and select my test. OK. Again, I can restrict to some models. I will add a description and also ping. OK, so here you can see the one already existing. And I will add a new one name ping okay a uh, number what is a number I will put three five five six for example ping ACL ACL and I will add a rule so I will select ICMP for ping okay and I click on OK. So you will see my new, ah, sorry, this remove my ACL number. Six, ping ACL again. I click on OK. OK, so now you can see my new ACL here. Uh, it is enabled. OK, so I can click on OK. And now I will deploy this specific classifier and behavior. So to do this, in order to make it easier, I will create a new business deploy deployment task here. So I will name it something like low priority traffic in order to know what I do. OK, so I'll add a new one. Name, low priority traffic. No, too long, low priority. And I add my classifier and behavior here. So I select my low priority. And I click on OK. And automatically, you will see here, if I click here, you can see the value I added in my behavior. OK. And here, I can see the classifier. OK. Eventually, I can disable, disable or enable some ACL. I click on OK. And then I will deploy this policy to some devices on my network. So since this is a live network, I will deploy another policy, which is this one. I will show you because I don't want to break the complete configuration for the other demo. So let me show you. In fact, it is for call signaling. So the only difference are the classifier and the behavior, which are also already defined. And here you can see these are this information. I also have the ping restriction, ACL. And for behavior, as far as I remember, this is the same. Ah, not exactly. It is a 25% on DSCP4. OK. So I will deploy this one on my network. So deploy. First step is to select the devices and the interfaces on which I want to apply this QS. So I will apply to my 5800 device, this one. OK, OK. And uh, only inbound, it is sufficient. And on these two up interfaces, OK. And also on all the VLAN on this device. So same device again. OK, OK. And VLAN all. OK. I click on Next. 
So automatically, because I selected the business deploy test, I have the classifier and behavior which are already selected. Eventually, I can manually add some. I click on next and I can change the name if I want. MGI. OK, next. I have a summary of my task and when I click on finish, the task will be executing. OK, it is executing. And after a few seconds, you will see the result. OK, still executing. Refresh again. And now it is completed successfully. So everything went well. So now let's see the result on the corresponding device. So I will select QS devices here. And this is the HP 5800A, this one. So let's show the QS configuration info. So we will see two interface policies for the two interfa physical interfaces I selected. OK. And I can undeploy some CBQ policies, the one I deployed. And I also directly from here, manually, I can deploy uh, some new policy uh, like uh, in outbound. I want to put the same so I can deploy directly from here. OK. And also something interesting from here, I can see VLAN policies, OK, so here are the VLAN, and again, I can undeploy, so only in on all the, the VLAN, and I can see also which classifier and behavior were deployed. So there is one low priority, it was before, and there is my call signaling. OK, so I can show you here the different call signaling. OK. And the same for behavior and for flow policy. OK. So now let's show also that when I define this, I can see some specific graph on the flow, QS traffic and interface traffic. So, for example, inbound last one hour, I don't think I have many, no, I don't have many traffic, but I can display here the corresponding information and also global interface traffic if I want. Okay, so it takes some time, so I will close. And finally, just to conclude this uh, QS demonstration, I will try to ping a device uh, which is connected to this specific network device and I will ping with a, some big packets like this okay it is too big okay I oh, know it was not the correct IP address okay okay big packets presently it is replaying but if I choose to change on this one the value of CIR to 8 mega, for example, you will see immediately the result here. I exceeded the threshold of 8 mega. And so it does not reply to ping. OK, so I think that everything, you know, everything on QS management in IMC. So thank you again for your attention and see you for a new video.